It's another great day everyone. Welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. To this video is about solving another exponential equation. 2 raised to the 2x plus 2 raised to 3x divided by 6 equals 2 raised to the 4x divided by 6. And we're looking for the value of x. And uh, for those new to my channel, you can support me make more videos by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel so we can have more videos in the future. I would appreciate it very much. Now let's go ahead and start solving the equation. So let's rewrite the equation again. 2 raised to 2x plus 2 raised to 3x divided by 6 equals 2 raised to the 4x divided by 6. So the next thing to do over here is get rid of the denominator of 6. All right. So to get rid of the denominator of 6, all we have to do is multiply the, the whole equation with uh, 6. So that is uh, 2 raised to 2x plus 2 raised to 3x divided by 6 equals 2 raised to the 4x divided by 6. So multiplying the whole equation with 6, the whole equation with 6. So that will be... 6 times to the 2x plus 2 raised to the 3x since 6 divided by 6 multiplying by 6 6 multiplying by 1 over 6 that cancels the, eight, the 6 so that just have 2 raised to the 3x equals 6 times this divided by 6 this will be just this so that's 2 raised to the 4x and from here, we can also rewrite the equation this way. 6 times uh, 2 raised to 2x squared. So in here, we're using the exponent rule. That is a raised to m raised to the nth power. That is equal to a raised to m multiplied by n or is equal to a raised to n times n that's the same way or a raised to n multiplied by m so we'll be doing the same way and this second term that is plus two times raised to to the x raised to the third power calls and the same way on here two raised to the x, raising to the 4th power. And from here, if you notice, they have something in common. That means every term has the 2 raised to the x power. First and second term, and on the right side of the equation, 2 raised to the x power. So, to reduce this uh, equation into its lowest term, we have to do is div divide the whole equation by 2 raised to the x power. So each term, but by raised to the 2x, but by raised to the 2x power. And on here also, 2 raised to the x power. And since, uh, if you notice, the exponent on an uh, ascending pattern, 2 over here, 3 and 4, and we can add exponent raising to the second power again so that's dividing by 2 raised to the x raising to the second power so that's the same way on all of here same thing so from here now we, we end up uh, dividing the uh, term by itself this 2 raised to x raising to a second power that's the same thing so this cancels that becomes 1 so that's 6 times 1 Plus, and on here, that is we're using another exponential uh, rule that is a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n. That means we're subtracting the exponent. You notice that 3 and 2, so this becomes 2 raised to x. That is, since uh, 3 minus 2 is 1, so we have what remains on the term is just 2 raised to the x power. 
and on here. So this is the exponent 4 and exponent 2. That means we're ending up to subtracting 4 minus 2. So that would be exponent 2. So that is 2 raised to x, exponent 2. And this becomes 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 raised to x equals 2 raised to x raising to the second power. So from here, I would like to raise the uh, terms of the equation to 2 raised to x raised to the second power. Moving all these two terms right here to, to the right. 2 raised to x moving to the other side from positive, it will be negative. So that will be negative 2 raised to x. And same thing on this constant 6. From positive 6, it will be negative 6. So minus 6, and now equal to 0. Now we have to introduce another variable to indicate and represent 2 raised to the x power. And that variable will be y. y is equal to 2 raised to the x power. So from here, substitute the value of y to the equation that will become y squared, that's 2x raised to the second power, all right, minus 2 to the x is y, minus 6, called 0. And to write it a different way, simplifying by the way, is y squared minus y minus 6 equals 0. And now the equation becomes now quadratic equation. And we can solve this equation by using factoring or the quadratic formula. So we'll be using factoring to solve this equation. So we have here a factor on top, this negative 6. And on the bottom, that's negative 1y. It's a negative y. I mean, negative y, that means coefficient. The coefficient is negative 1. So that means negative 1 over here. And what are the factors of negative 6 that will add up to negative 1? All right, so these are the factors that we had to put in here. And the factors of 6 are negative 6 are 2 and 3, 6 and 1, and that's it. Since the, the middle term is negative, that means negative 1y. That's why we have right on the bottom, so we have to take these factors of negative 6 so it will add up to negative 1 so we have negative 6 right here on the third term that means we are dealing with positive and negative products of 6 negative 6 since multiplying positive and negative will yield a product of negative so that means and second term has negative value negative y that means negative 1 that's the coefficient that we'll be using 2 and 3. And uh, since that's negative, this uh, factor of 3 should be negative, must be negative, and 2 must be positive. If we multiply both, that will become 6, and there you go. This sign will be negative. And if we add it up, that's positive 2 and negative 3. Adding those integers, will become negative 1. So that's the coefficient of the second term. All right. So, so we'll make uh, parentheses over here and equate, the, equate that to 0. OK, so those factors are over here. We put this over here, 2 plus 2 and negative 3. So this left side of those uh, factors of the binomial will be the factors of y squared. That is y and y. And on the right side of its binomial factor, we have these factors right here. That is plus 2. That's plus 2 right there. And on the other side, negative 3. So this becomes y plus 2, parenthesis, multiplied by the quantity y minus 3 equating to 0. And now to find the value of y, we equate both factors to 0. That's y plus 2 equals to 0. And on the other side, 
equating this one right here y minus 3 equals 0 and from here solving the equation y equals negative 2 transforming 2 to the other side from positive will be negative negative and from here y will be positive 3 and from negative to the right will be positive so if we take a look at those values y is negative 2 and y is positive 3 so considering these values of y negative 2 and positive 3 if we substitute those values to find the value of x from the one above so this value y is equal to 2 raised to 2x we cannot use the value of y negative 2 on this one right here but we can use this value y positive 3 the reason is that if we equate y y equals 2 raised to the x power and uh, we, we're equating y equals to negative 2 that is uh, 2 raised to x is negative 2 if we take the logarithm if we take the logarithm on both sides we cannot get the value of a negative uh, with a of a negative num number as the base since the base of a negative number does not exist on the log of negative 2 does not exist on the graph of the logarithm since a logarithm is the inverse of exponent there's no such value as negative values in the base all right so our value of y we came up to just with this one right here so y equals to 3 positive 3 we'll be using that all right so from here we get the value of x using y value is 3 so that is uh, 2 to the x is equals to y is equals to 3 so 2 to the x is equals to 3 and from here we'll be using the logarithm so that is uh, logarithm of 2 to the base 2 we'll be equating this also to the base 2 so the same way that is logarithm of 3 to base 2 so in here since uh, we're equating logarithm uh, to the base 2 with base of the power x this uh, cancels the base since they have the same base logarithm of base 2 to the x power the base 2 this equals their equivalent to 1 and it cancels together so that's, that cancels both and it will come up down to just value of x and that is equal to logarithm of 3 base 2 and in here we will we'll be using the, uh, the change of base formula for logarithm that is logarithm of b to the base a is equal to logarithm of b divided by logarithm of a but in this sense the logarithm of here now is on base 10 that's on base 10 if you don't see base 10 that's automatic that's base 10 now we get rid we got rid of that uh, base a right there now okay and going back to our problem our solution is x is equal to now it is now logarithm of 3 divided by logarithm of 2 we ended up splitting the logarithm of 3 base 2 now it's split all right so this is the final answer logarithm of 3 divided by logarithm of 2 and if we were to check our answer we need to find the uh, numerical value of logarithm 3 and logarithm of 2 so if we plug into our calculator use the cal use our calculator this value will be be 1.585 and this is already reduced to just uh, three decimal places. Next thing we had to do is 
substitute the value of x, numerical value 1.585 to the value of x on the original equation. So, so we can verify our answer if we did it right or wrong. All right, so we have to verify by checking our answer. Let's do that. So we're going to check our answer. The original equation was 2 raised to 2x plus 2 raised to 3x divided by 6 equals 2 raised to the 4x divided by 6. And in here we have the value of x as 1.585. And by using our calculator, find the value of uh, 2 raised to 2x to be 9. And plus the value of 2 raised to 3x divided by 6 is 4.5. Equals the value of 2 raised to the 4x divided by 6 is 13.5. And that's the question right there. If we add this up. 9 plus 4.5, that clearly mean this is 13.5. And it is just exactly equal to the right side of the equation, 13.5. All right. So we have found the value of x for this exponential equation to be 1.585. So that's all for now. For those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I appreciate your time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. I will see you in the next videos.